Hi Boundless Eyes, it's Southern Girl and I hope I find you doing well today. <coughs> I wanted to do a video response on your video about depression, a story and a plea for awareness. Um, I applaud you for making this video. It's not easy to express your feelings to the world and open yourself up like that and so that shows that you are at a much stronger point in your life than you say you used to be. Um, real quick, I just wanted to mention about the counselor who wouldn't see you on a Saturday. You know, this struck me and it, it, it's always been something that bothers me. Why, you know, like, do they think depression takes a break? It takes the weekend off? I mean, <laughs> It's just too funny to me how, you know, depression is considered to be a five-day illness, five-day-a-week illness. But I just found that uh, interesting. So, um, moving on, uh, you know, you said you were admitted into a mental hospital, and I don't know if that was voluntary or if you were put in there here in the states we call that being baker acted when you are admitted against your will um it's a 72 hour mandatory hold up to anyway and then the doctor decides where to go from there um i myself have been baker acted and i was big baker acted just sheerly for saying because i was in the hospital for a knife wound in my arm which happened because I was extremely drunk and trying to do dishes and just cut myself and I go in there and because of where it was um, right here I uh, heard the doctors and nurses talking about how I may have tried to kill myself and being the drunk honorary person that I was shouted out if I planned on killing myself I know where to do it and how to do it Next thing I know, I was uh, strapped to the bed and on my way to a mental hospital where I stayed for 72 hours, which is nowhere near the length of time that you stayed, but life-changing nonetheless. Um, when you read your story, there was a line in there that really stuck with me. Uh, individual contemplation is dangerous. Oh, how true that is. You know, one of the things I always joke about, you know, when people are talking or whatever, I'll, you know, just put out their, uh, oh, well, you should be in my head, you know, just comments like that. And, you know, there really is safety in numbers. And for someone to be alone, it's really sad. Uh, your story or your poetry, whatever you call it, is uh, very telling and also very beautiful. And um, I relate a great deal. Uh, your decision, you said something you, earlier too um, about someone's decision to engage with someone uh, and help a person can be life saving. I'll go back to that, but let me just say that someone's decision to engage and um, rip them apart can also be detrimental. And um, there's a lot of that that goes on here on YouTube and it's just really sad uh, not your video what you did but I have seen some lately and apologetics comes to mind uh, as a mother you know I'm thinking about this young girl who was so strong in the thoughts that she had that she decides to make YouTube videos and the next thing she knows that you know she's completely being ripped apart and although it was of her own choice you know she still is just a kid and so you know I go back to that motherly thing where you know everything that she's believed is coming crashing down on her head and that's got to be a really hard struggle so you know my heart kind of goes out to her and uh, as far as her father goes you know what he does need to do is just shut up hug his daughter and tell her that he loves her no matter what and that's what he need to teach her. But back to decisions being uh, 
to engage with a person and helping them could be life-saving. It absolutely can be life-saving, and that's why I choose to live my life giving everybody respect and uh, understanding. And um, again, I applaud you for making such a brave video, and you keep it up. You have friends uh, here on the YouTube community, and uh, I'm there to look after you. So, you take care. Peace. Love. I'm out of here.